wanted to give you this really quick 15 minute flow. This is ideal as a lot of people I've talked to recently um, have mentioned they need to slow down or they need to find a way to breathe deeply. So I'll be cueing all the breathing. Um, also, this is a great way to start your day with a positive intention. Um, it's a great way to just sort of stop in the middle of your work day next to your desk, whether you work in an office or from home. All you need is a mat and the space around you. So join me. I invite you to start out your practice today in child's pose with the hands out in front of you sinking the hips all the way back to the heels or close to the heels and bringing the third eye to the mat. This is a great time to visualize how you want the rest of your day to go and set a positive intention. If nothing's coming to you, may I offer the intention of slowing down and breathing. Inhaling, tensing the fingers, exhaling, coming back down, inhale, exhale through the nose. One more time, inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. This is called ujjayi breath, in through the nose, out through the nose. And on the exhale, we're making the sound of an ocean wave by constricting the back of your throat like you're trying to fog up a mirror. So exhale, inhale as you come to cow pose. Exhale, bring that spine up, tailbone tucks down, head goes down. And now we're gonna go into some roll. So you're jump roping the spine as you inhale when spine is down. Exhale when spine is up. Shoulders over wrists. Go forward, keeping the elbows glued to the ribs. Come all the way down to Cobra, Bhujangasana. And then take it back to Child's Pose, Balasana. Tensing the fingers, coming back to that breath. Inhale through the nose. Shoulders over wrists. Make sure the wrists are directly beneath the shoulders as you do this. Mine are a little bit far forward here, so make that correction. Bringing that right leg up, we're circling out the right hip from here. Did you know that most knee injuries come from an imbalance either in the ankle or in the knee? So we're rotating through the ankle and through the knee. And when you bring that knee back, it should be directly underneath the hip, bringing that left knee up, circling it out in tabletop, circling through that left hip, and then straightening out the leg, circling out through that ankle. While in tabletop, Barmanasana. Tuck those toes, bringing that sits bone up for the first down dog of our practice today. You can keep the knees bent, you can pedal out the feet and just see how that feels today. Walking forward, right foot, left foot, bringing the feet out to a 45 degree angle behind the hands, Malasana squat. Inhale, hands to prayer. Exhale, hands down, heels out, wide, forward fold. And we're just gonna take a left to right figure eight pattern on the mat right in front of your face. You can bend the knees coming back and forth. Go with your breath, go with the music, and then inhale, halfway lift, flat back, look up, exhale, fold forward. Wide-legged forward fold, Prasarita. Inhale all the way up, star pose or high pyramid. Exhale, left hand tracks down the left leg. Inhale, both arms up center. And then exhale, right hand down the right leg. Both arms up, inhale. Exhale, bring them down. Bringing the palms of the hands together, interlacing the fingers, heart up, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Hands down, inhale, half 
lift and bring the heels in for Malasana squat, sending the feet back left, right to high plank pose. Exhale, bending at the elbows. Inhale, up dog. Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, down dog. Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Remember, we're getting the back flat here, so it's perfectly fine if you want to bend the knees to get your back flat all the way from the tailbone to the base of the skull. Now, bending at the knees, hop forward to Malasana, landing light. Inhale, hands to heart center. Exhale, heels out, wide leg forward fold. Inhale, all the way up, star pose. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, center it out. Exhale, right hand down, left arm up. Did you know it's easier to stretch your legs when they're wide like this? So inhale, interlace the fingers, heart up. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Take the hands to the mat. Inhale, half lift, hands to heart, heels in, Malasana squat. Exhale, send it back to plank. Inhale, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Flip those toes over. Now we're gonna inhale that right leg up. Keeping the hips square to the mat. Exhale, bring that right leg forward. Replace the right hand with the right leg and inhale it all the way up, Anjaneyasana, low crescent lunge. Bring the hands to prayer, twist it over that right knee, exhale, inhale, open it up, and then exhale, send it back, see if you can touch the back of that left leg. Cartwheel the hands over, take that right leg back, three-legged dog, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, Exhale, down dog. Now you don't have to do the three-legged chaturanga. That is an option that's there for you. Inhale, left leg up, keeping the hips square. It's almost like there's a piece of paper in between your legs you're trying to hold on to it. Exhale as you bring that left leg forward, replace that left hand. Inhale it up to Anjaneyasana. Exhale, hands to heart and twist it to the left this time. Inhale, open the arms. Exhale as you twist backwards, touch the back of the right hamstring, then cartwheel forward as you exhale. Taking that left leg up, inhale, shoulders over wrist, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, up dog. Exhale, child's pose, beautiful job, you guys. Take a moment here to reconnect with your breath. Look forward, make sure your hands are spread out, L of the finger. Bending at the knees, making sure the back is flat, and then send the heels up and down, pulse up and down with the music, with the beat. Make it fun. Inhale that right leg up, hip square. Exhale, plant that right foot, this time between the hands, right underneath the nose. Pivot on the back foot to warrior two. Right leg is at 90 degrees, hips are facing that left side wall. The right knee is tracking towards the right hip and toe. Inhale, take that warrior two backwards, reverse it. And then exhale, cartwheel the hands forward, pivot on that left foot, twist it all in asana. Taking the left hand down, right arm up. We are about to tap the right hand to the left foot. Make connection. Move the energy to tap. Tap. Grabbing that left foot with the right hand. Baby grasshopper. You're using hot around the arm through the left arm and then drop left hip, coming to the forearm, the left arm, tapping that right foot forward and back. Make connection with your obliques, make sure they're working, and then bring that 
left leg around a couple of standing. I'm going to split. I'm going to take the right hand behind the right heel. Make sure the hips are square again. And then send that left foot back. Inhale all the way up. High press and lunge. Back heel over the back ball of the foot. And the hands go down. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. Even at a hop if you like. Good morning. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, plant it right underneath your nose. Inhale, all the way up to warrior two on the other side. Make sure the hips are facing that right side of the room. And then send it forward and then back. So reverse warrior two. Sending the arms out for twisted alanasana on the other side. And then up for high crescent lunge or alanasana. Right arm down, tapping. This time, left hand makes connection with the right foot. Tap, tap, tap. Yes. Send it out. Baby grasshopper. This time you can see my right arm is in chaturanga. And then send the right hip down. We're gonna go for those taps on the other side. Taking the forearm down. Tap, 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 tap. Just have fun with it. Go with the music. Go with your breath. And then coming onto that left leg. Again, hips are square, both hips facing the mat. We we'll take the right leg up for standing split. Left hand to come behind the left calf. And then send that right leg down, inhale it up, alanasana, high step of lunge. Exhale, hands down to the mat, taking that left leg up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Raise and lower those heels. We're shaking lactic acid out of the muscles. Getting a nice release here. There is a message, my madam. Pop it out. This is optional. You can do a little hop forward. Popping it all the way forward to the prasarita. And then shaking it out through the hips. So make sure the hips are moving. It's like my knees are moving a little bit more than my hips. So I took a hold of those hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. See if you've created any space in that spine. Grabbing onto the ankles, maybe you can get a little bit farther now. Inhale, half lift. I'm bringing my feet closer together because I'm feeling that space in my hamstrings that I've created. The body is so much more open now than when we started. Just breathe here. Bring the body a little bit closer to those quadriceps. It's like you're a pair of pants folded over a hanger. Hands to the mat. Inhale. As we bend the knees, coming to a wide-legged toes stand. Just kind of waking up the legs, waking up those quads. Waking up those feet. The feet are so important in our everyday life. Now bring the heels in for Malasana. Feet are at 45 in Malasana squat. Hands come to the heart. And we're trying to get our heels down in Malasana, although I know that's not possible for everyone right away. That's why this is a practice. Step back to plank, making sure the hips and the shoulders are about the same level. When we exhale for Chaturanga, inhale, up dog. Exhale, child pose. Bring those hips all the way back to the heels. Maybe you can bring them even closer than you did at the start of practice today. And here we're circling out through the solar plexus. So bringing the ribs, the rib cage in a circle, and then moving that movement all the way through to the hips. So we're taking the left hip up towards the front of the mat, and then we take the right hip back towards the back of the mat in a circular movement. Notice I'm keeping my arms perfectly straight, not bending at the elbows here. So we're keeping those arms straight as we roll all the way through and then back. Send it all the way back to child's pose. Third eye to the mat. Walking those hands back towards the knees for kneeling. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, the left 
arm comes down to the floor, the right arm opens up and then inhale center, exhale, right arm slides down, left arm opens up and then inhale, center it out. Exhale, we're taking the right hand to the floor, spider fingers, take the left hand to the temple and then stretch it out, getting rid of that tech neck. So take the chin to the chest, head goes left to right, go with the music, go with your breath, and then we're taking the right hand to the temple, left hand spider fingers to the floor, and then just gently, ever so gently, pull the head towards the right shoulder this time. Just let it feel good here, very gently with that neck. Now let's come forward to child's pose. And we're gonna take that, those same rolls that we did through the solar plexus. So whichever way you went before, try and go the opposite way. And then we're gonna go the opposite way with our cobra rolls. So for me, that was my right hip going forward and then my left hip coming back to the heels. Just do a few of those with the elbows perfectly straight. Ah, feels so good. Exhale, bring it through, through for Chaturanga and then inhale up for Cobra. Let's come all the way back to seated this time. Taking the left foot into the right hip crease. Half Lotus, Ardha Padmasana. We're gonna take the arms out to the sides. And then you can't see it too well here, but I am tick-tocking my ribs left to right. So these are rib isolations with the goal of strengthening the core. Inhale, arms all the way up. Keep the ticks and then exhale as you bring hands to heart center, prayer, Anjali Mudra. We're going to switch the crossing of the feet. So seated happy baby, take a hold of the outside edge of each foot, bring them out in front of you, and then try to remember how you had those legs crossed. I actually forgot, so switch it around. It was the right foot inside the left hip crease the left foot on the floor, grounding down, both toes grounding down. Take the hands down to the knees. Remember, wherever you are in your day, you can always come back to stillness. Now here, I'm getting a nice shoulder rinse by taking that left arm up, right arm down, and I'm able to catch my fingertips, but if you have to just grab your shirt, grab your bra, grab whatever you find, and then take the right arm, switch it out. Right arm goes up, left arm goes down. Just grab your shirt, grab your bra, or clasp those fingers and inhale it all the way up. Breathe here, getting a nice shoulder stretch. Bring the hands back to prayer. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, give yourself a nice big hug and get ready to take your practice off the mat and into your day. Namaste.